Ah, oh my god, everybody! Welcome back to... <sighs> Let's play Dark Cloud. Wow. I am, like, over the moon right now because I have reached 100 subscribers. Last time I checked, I think it was 102, actually. Um, it hit 100 last night, and I was quite excited about that. When I checked up this morning, it was 102. Um, so I am really, really, really happy. Thank you ever so much, you guys, for the uh, support and everything that you've uh, given me in the last, especially in the last month or so. I've had lots of subs. I mean, I went up from like 60 to like 90 or something in about like I don't know about a month or something. So that was that was pretty decent. Um, but it kind of slowed down again recently. But uh, I must admit, the quality of the uh, sort of sub subscribers I've been having recently are much better. You guys, the sort of guys that comment on every single video, you don't just kind of have a look and uh, see. You kind of uh, get, just get involved and say, speak your mind and stuff, say what you think and whatever. And you give generally give really positive uh, uh, comments and stuff. So thank you, especially to all the uh, the new guys. But I would also like to. Uh, Go, it goes without saying, really, uh, that I should thank everybody who's kind of stuck with me uh, since f fairly early days. I mean, there's been, there's been one or two of you that kind of stuck around since the old uh, Jedi Knight days, back in the days that I, you know, was doing that. Um, one of my, my my very first LP. There's been one or two of you, I think, that stuck around. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot. I. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Anyway, on to the game, I guess. Uh, I did uh, build up uh, Ruby's crystal ring, uh, platinum ring, into this crystal ring here. Um, it's kind of on its way to becoming a goddess ring, I think. I uh, have kind of set that up. Battle axe. His battle axe hasn't done anything, but I got um, randomly. I found some last judgments. I found quite a few of them actually in a battle axe. So they're going to be quite useful for just adding some brute attack power onto whatever it is I'm uh, working with. Um, but yeah, so I've got a battle axe sphere here, which kits out everything pretty much. But because it was like a hundred and something power, you know, it gives you sixty. Why waste it on just like twenty-five? Be better to give to the uh, evolution of the axe or something when it's done or whatever. But this is still quite in need of stuff, so I will be working on this. Um, I've been I've have equipped her with the bandit slingshot in an attempt to uh, bring. The enemies. Oh well, bring it, bring it up so I can uh, put a st stealing ability on something else. And I think Lamb Sword has hasn't changed, but I've stuck a diamond and an aquamarine on it. Uh, this is a lot of stuff that I did off-screen. Actually, I've been very busy recently with the off-screening um, stuff. Very busy. Um, yesterday, I spent about four hours. Uh, just uh, kind of going in the dungeon, um, speaking. Okay, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, this is kind of something that someone asked me in the, one of the most recent videos. These these crystals are obviously different coloured, and uh, the colour is an indication as to what element they are. Now that kind of looked reddish, but it's not. It's actually pink, and pink obviously coincides with holy. So. Switch to the switch to holy element, obviously, to open a pink door. Switch to a um, red. Switch to fire for red crystals and stuff. Sorry, I just muted the microphone for a second. Um. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to try and keep my voice down a little bit because someone's going to bed next door, which is kind of annoying. Um, I guess I'll have to edit the uh, tracks so that this kind of comes across a bit. I don't know, it's going to be hard to, to edit so that it sounds the same. I don't know if I've got any methods of doing so in Vegas or something, maybe. I'll have a look at it, but it's going to be a bit of a pain to have to talk this quietly now. Uh, it's annoying, though, because it's only bloody... To, it's only 10 o'clock, Jesus Christ. He usually goes to bed at sort of like... Oh, it's because the news... He, he usually stays up for the news, that makes sense. Um, but 
it's annoying that he's going to bed now, of all times. Because, ah, oh, it was funny, because I started playing guitar, like, about an hour ago or something. And, um, I was about a minute into a song or something, and then, <laughs> it was a long song as well, and then my sister comes banging on the door saying, oh, I'm going to bed now, and stuff. So I was like, oh, damn it. So I had to stop doing that. And then, you know, the same pretty much here. Oh, stop with the t funds decreasing a little. I haven't got very much now. Seriously, last time you might have seen it, I was on like, um... I was seriously on like, uh... I think I was on like 10,000 or something? 10,000 Gilda? Now I'm on like 2,000 or something, which is freaking annoying. All these damn spaces that keep doing that to me. Um... So yeah. Anyway, yeah. Again, thanks for all the uh, support that you guys have uh, recently thrown my way. It's been really helpful, and I'm really glad that my most recent subscribers are also uh, useful. I'd also uh, also like to point, say something about uh, what was it? Yeah, the guy who <laughs> a guy who kept telling me bits of advice, and apparently I just keep forgetting who it was. Um, I think his name's Biff Tech or something. I don't know if that's the full the full uh, name the uh, username or something. Maybe it is. It'd be cool if it is. I would have got something right for a change. Uh, oh, damn it, the abs are full. Um, yeah, so that would have been nice, but uh, I get the feeling that I pretty much got it wrong. Um, so sorry about that, mate, if I did. Um, <laughs> but no, anyway, the point was, yeah, he pointed out a lot of things and I did not give him due credit. Um, and obviously I would have liked to. <laughs> Doesn't like the old uh, rotten fish apparently. Evie? Nope. Doesn't. You're not going to stand for any of that. Oh dear, I'm being hailed on MSN. Good thing I put it to busy. Oh, I must have. Oh, it's because I got logged out and then logged back in because the internet cut out. That kind of makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna do two floors, I think, for now. Um, even though I probably don't have very much to say as of this floor. I'm probably gonna use Ruby again just because, you know, she seems to be doing quite good. Oh, that makes awful grammatic. That makes no grammatical sense. It's awful. It's just awful. I'm supposed to be the English student. Damn it. <sighs> oh, it's going to be annoying if I have to edit this as well before I go to bed. Because I'm obviously going to have to edit it, upload it, and then you know, so about the editing stuff is going to take a little while. I'm going to have to wait to wait till there's like a patch of silence, and then. Um, after that moment, uh, I'm gonna have to say something about. Oh, I have to change the volumes. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do exactly yet. Oh, damn! <laughs> I really don't like these things. Oh God. Oh, well, he has the hook, so technically I haven't got to find anything else if things get messy. Which they are threatening to right about now. Oh, god damn it. Stop talking to me, man. Sorry, someone's one of my son is talking to me, and, uh. Not that I don't like talking to people on MSN, because I love it. But, but um. Yeah, just, I don't, I'm not in the mood to talk to talk to him at the moment. Call video if you're watching this video, please. Don't be offended. Or call video even, as you like to pronounce it. I like to, I like to say qual, but you say call. It's, I don't know. Just remember Q makes a qua sound rather than a ka. Well, I think if it's used at the beginning of a sentence, it's used as a QU. If it's used uh, in a word even, if it's used in at the beginning of a word. I think if it's used later on, like in the name Jacker, Jacker, you know, the French name, 
Um, I think it can pre be pronounced as a like a CK instead of a uh, KW or something. Haha! <laughs> you sod! You sod! Oh, ow! Jesus God! I just wanted to make sure he got the. I really don't like these things. I never did. I think this is the worst thing that they did on this game was this damn enemy. So in which case it's probably quite a good good enemy. Oh fucking get out of the way, you asshole. <laughs> Chill, James, it's just a game. To get more sort of where did you come from and stuff? I know, it's just annoying that I have to keep going out there and buying cheese, and it's just like I'm trying to save up the money and stuff, and it's like, ugh. And I keep losing money off screen as well, it's annoying. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Gonna jump on across here. Um, I need to keep looking, uh, not keep looking, I need to look at my, uh, that to make sure I'm not getting any lamps, you know. Um, I haven't really been talking about lamps enough. I need to get need to get back into the obsession with lamps. I don't know. <laughs> don't know if you could call it an obsession or just a sort of private joke. I, I've explained it to you before, though, so you know it's all good. It's not like I'm just. I'm getting sick of these mimics. They're everywhere. I don't think I'm getting very many chests with any many items in them. There are very many at this point. Um, it's kind of annoying. This will probably be the map, won't it? No. Oh, it's an anti-curse amulet. They're worth like 200 apiece or something. Where's well, the map? What do you want to bet this is another mimic? Oh. My god. My god. That actually comes from a... Uh, that comes from House of the Dead 2, except it doesn't say it quite like that. That well, it kind of, it kind of interesting because that's something that me and my brother took from that game. Sorry, my brother and I. I'm rubbish with my grammar today. What is going on? Yeah, my brother and I uh, thought it was really funny that one of the characters goes, "My God," like that. But he's just like, "My God," it's really, really bad voice acting, and I think we kind of walked it to like sound. Less like my god into a, my god. Actually, we just thought it was like this really awful bit of voice acting. <laughs> I don't really know where the uh, exaggeration came from. It's just kind of something that happens, I guess. Um, well, that is going on. I wonder how. This <laughs> is maxes out. Still doesn't. That severely boosts a couple of things. Not enough though. I'll have a bit of that on there. I'll just stick some magic plus three and then we'll upgrade. Yes. Anyway. Um hmm. <laughs> okay, let's let's check these uh atlas, see if we get any lamps. Um Torch, damn you! <laughs> so close. Lamp! Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Okay. Let's uh, get out of here for now. We're only fifteen minutes in. This isn't going too badly. Yes. Oh dear. Yeah, I was going to say something else. Um, I, I have in fact put in the bottom of the. Uh, oh yeah, something I forgot as well. Quickly before I say anything about that, I did come across a fruit of Eden which I wanted to give. To. I guess I'm giving it to Ruby because she's going to be more useful to me in this dungeon. Um. But yeah, what I was going to say was, I have put in the uh, sort of uh, footer bar at the bottom. I have put in a, uh, well, 
A. I have to put in two links. Uh, one to my Facebook page. I guess that works. I'm not really sure. I haven't really tried it. But I think it works. I think I've got it so that it works now. Um, okay, so a link to my Facebook page. If anybody's like interested on interested in like becoming a friend on there or something. And um, I also have um, put a link to my Twitter down there as well. I'm, I'm fairly new to Twitter. In fact, when I say fairly new, I'm very new. I only joined the other day. Um, but I just thought, you know, it's kind of like a way to kind of draw in subs and let you guys know what's going on. Um, so you can always just keep checking your Twitter to find out why or not, you know, I've not recorded an episode or something. Why I've recorded one or not, you know. Um, just going to go and check on down here to make sure there's no items, because sometimes there's an item knocking around down here. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've put two links down in the uh, bar below the video, in the sort of like the video description and everything. I did that with the last one. I'll do the same on this one. Um, I suppose I could put a link to my actual channel in there, but it's not like you know most people are not thick; they can work it out to get onto people's channels. Um, but um, yeah, so if you wanted to follow me on there or whatever, that's totally your call. I'm not going to like push that on you because it's not something that I really would expect. It's not. I only follow uh, Nintendo Capri Sun when it comes down to uh, LPs, and I follow a couple of YouTubers like Ray William Johnson. But you know, that's about it. Yeah. So what I was going to do was I was going to have a look at these houses. I have Lana's store. I think she's the. Uh, I'm not sure she's the... Is she the fruit girl? Yeah, she's the fruit girl. So I've got her store, but I haven't got her. I've got a lamp over there. Divining house. I can do the divining house now. This is a bit of a funny place, this. I think I vaguely mentioned that before. It's a bit, a bit annoying. It's some bizarre stuff that happens in here, trust me. Can we go in, please? Thank you. It'd be difficult now, Tone. So I thought they like had eyeballs on them or something. Cheese, cheese, grommet. I do like a bit of gorgonzola. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I've got another fruit of Eden. So I'll give it to Zhao for now. Okay, you see what I did there. Um. And I'll give that one to Zhao. There you go. So now she has. Now we're, I try to keep everybody about even. Um, so we'll talk to. Ugh. Oh boy, you have a bad omen about you. Be careful. I am Yea, the town fortune teller. He he he. Hmm. <laughs> Good to meet you. So, what do you need? My trademark is the snake. That's most important. The snake. If you forget... Oh, yeah, the snake! Sorry, that's an exclamation mark. I was thinking, the snake it? What? But maybe that's because I'm sitting too far back from my TV. Uh, anyway, if you forgot it, my fortune-telling will not... Well, oh, bollocks. My fortune-telling will only be as half as accurate. There you go, I'm just going to talk in, like, freaking normal tones for that woman, because, you know... I'm actually tired, and I can't be bothered to... Mess around with stupid voices. Doesn't mean I'm not still still not happy or something. I, pff, I'm just gonna shut up now and actually, you know, get on with this. Having said that's an LP, so I'm supposed to keep talking. Jesus Christ! You poor bastards have to listen to me just ramble on about all sorts of crap. Seriously, I talk so much bollocks. It's I feel bad for you guys. I really do. So yeah, basically, like she rewards you with the ability to come and have your fortune, um, read or told, or even. So uh, okay, we've got two questions. One, we got where is the moon orb, and uh, where is the dark genie? Oh god, I've just remembered what happens. <laughs> well, let us begin. Are you ready? Uh. <laughs> Pumpkin panty fortune telling. Here we go. <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear. <laughs> uh, that's a fruit merchant looking strangely at some kind of a ball. Hmm, carrying it away somewhere. Oops, that's it. Ugh. Useless woman. Maybe she'll, you know, have jumped off the head by now. Well, jumped off our head, yeah. Pumpkin panty, though. Come on, that's crazy. She just has her pumpkins on her panties. Yum. Though I don't know why you're tired. Dirty connotations, perhaps? Mm hmm. So let's find out where the dark genie is. So I'm going to assume the same thing is going to happen again. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> let's see what she has to say this time. Oh, sure, I see, but I'm tired. Mm. So this is some castle, like some kind of giant haunted house. Is this who they call Dark Genie? He's pretty arrogant. Oh, who's this? Looks like he's saying something. What a huge yawn. Oh. He got up. The guy's talking. Trying to destroy another town? Huh? That's all? Hmm. Well. When it loads. There, that's it. I don't suppose she can tell me anything else now, can she? Oh, no, she can't. There's something else you have to do before she can read the next part of your fortune. Yeah, this is where the game kind of gets a little bit more sort of uh, creative with the uh, sort of villagers. You have to sort of interact with several villagers, like, in like different orders and stuff. Um, I still don't have the damn church, I don't think. No. Having said that, I'm only missing the church, one of the stalls, and I'm thinking Basker's... That's his name, isn't it? Basker? Yeah. Basker's store. Anyway, I'm missing a lamp! I'm thinking that might be just Basker. Oh, well. Anyway concludes this episode of uh, Let's Play Dark Cloud. Next time I will be doing a, an episode of uh, Metro Prime 2 for those of you who are into that game. Um, again, thanks everybody so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. You know, it does really make my day to see people happy with stuff that I produce for them. You know, it's like it's like you're doing someone a favour almost and it's just kind of you know, some people are reliving the dream, some people aren't. And some people are just kind of enjoying the... the uh, the commentary and stuff so whatever that's cool anyway i will catch you later guys take care love you all